One, two, one, two, this morning all the way in Waynesboro, Georgia. I heard it. It was underneath my toolbox come walking out. I'm gonna name him probably Wayne from Waynesboro. He slept, I mean it's a long way from, from Waynesboro back home. It's about five and a half hours. And I probably got about another hour to go to get back home. He slept almost the whole time he just woke up. Say, hey, Wayne. <laughs> Little old kid, and I don't know how long you've been back here. I have no idea. But I tried to give him something to eat this morning, and he wouldn't eat. So maybe he'll eat once I get him home. I don't, I don't think he's weaned, to be honest with you. Uh, me and old Wainer. A wainer. <laughs> All right, so we back over here at the farm. We come over here in the morning time this time. Got me and my son in the back back there, and Priestie's leading the way. She got so excited when she got over here. She got slapped right, right dab in the middle of the road and had a movement. So she's happy. My son, he likes to look for arrowheads and stuff down here at the branch, so. Oh. So I'd probably drop him off down here and then me and Prissy will go and check out some feeders and come back and pick him up and go check out another couple of feeders on this side of the branch. But like I said, it's 77 degrees. Normally I go in the evening, that way it's not too much. Uh, it's kind of the last thing I do in the day. Man, it's just so so pretty. It's overcast, 77 degrees. It's just hard to beat. So I'm gonna get over here. I'm kind of anxious to see if they. I got a, oh, I got a couple of cameras, especially those two on the other side. I need to angle down a little bit more. They did fine. They caught every fine thing fine. They just I need them to be a little bit. I want them to be a little bit lower. Um, so we'll do that. Like I said, I'm kind of anxious to see how they ate those shredded beets and molasses mixed in with some corn. Kind of excited, not excited, I mean, but I'm kind of interested to see. She knows her way around here better than I do. Now watch, unless you're looking for it or unless you know about it, you'd never know that there was a turnoff up here on the left side. left there's a turn off so if you don't know it there's a, the road actually goes straight through there but there's a little turn off we're right here baby you go right on the head go over the head But she knows. Y'all, I gotta be honest with you, I'm kinda disappointed. I just put some of this corn out right here. Uh, but nothing's eating any of these, these sweet, these uh, shredded beets and molasses mix that I got in here. Nothing's eating any of that hardly. I got over 200 videos on that camera, but I ain't got nothing here. So, I mean, I got, you know, all this stuff here. So, I got some stuff I'm going to start a mineral site at one of the places. So, I may pour some of the rest of that stuff, mix it in with that. I figured they'd, they'd sniff it out and start eating on it. and Because it's dry. I mean, it's not soggy or anything. I don't know. 
I have to find something else. Cause I sure don't want to feel this thing slam full of corn. <laughs> okay, I got my camera changed that way. Oh, I need to put it in the bottom of it. Didn't do to get no rain water in that. Got my chain, uh, camera set up there. I got put a little bit more corn out of here. I'm gonna put a little bit more down here on the ground, I think. Uh, and I got my molasses block hanging. So, it's gonna stretch. See what kind of fun we can get here. A nylon cord ought to be uh, big enough to hold unless, you know, they, something gets a hold enough to break that nylon cord, it's gonna pull the whole darn thing over anyway, so I ain't worried about that, but, uh, I'm gonna, leave, I'm gonna leave that stuff that I already had in here. It shredded beets with some molasses added to it. And then I got that. Glad I came back. I'm gonna lose that. So let's see what this, we'll just see. Huh. Right, this is the idea with the uh, molasses block. I got it tied up pretty good here with the bungee strap. I, I, the bungee cord. I, I actually bought a couple of springs and I was going to use the springs and I got to drive in the other day I just want to do some of my best thinking and uh, I got to thinking what the crap am I going to use springs for I got bungee cords so that's what I got got me some I had a ton of bungee cords that I wasn't using the whole idea is to let them have to work for it a little bit maybe put on a little show that's all, that's all I'm after <laughs> So, let's see how this works out. Okay, we're down here at this site down here in the woods. So that trail camera's on this tree. Excuse me. Um, as you can tell, all the corn that I put out, and I put a whole jug, which is probably, let's see, about in between 15 and 20 pounds, however that is. Uh, I made this. I'm going to create a little mineral site down here, I think. I, I got some stuff to try it with. And uh, I didn't want to put it just in the just in the ground, you know, just put it on the ground. I know you can do that. I just, I thought to myself, would I rather eat off a piece of two by four or dig in the dirt? <laughs> so I'm going to put some around it and some on top of it. Now, this is the stuff I got. I've, I've watched a lot of YouTube videos. And this is the stuff I got, this Imperial White Tail, uh, 30 alt 6 mineral vitamin supplement. It's got a lot of calcium, antler up D3 in it. Let's see. Uh, a minimum of 16, 15.17% uh, of calcium, a maximum of, what is it, 18? Yeah, 18. Uh, it's got phosphorus, sodium chloride, magnesium, zinc, selenium, and vitamin A. So, we're gonna, we're gonna pour this out right here. Mix it with a little bit of that stuff. That, uh, oh shoot, that um, shredded beets and molasses. That's what it is. I'm gonna mix it in with some of that and spread it all around here and we're gonna kinda see what kind of results we can get with that also. Okay, so I got it put out. Uh, okay, I got the corn over there on one side. It meets right here, and then the minerals plot like right here. It's not a very big one, but it's pretty good. I mean, this is my first mineral plot. So please be kind in the comments. Anyway, this is the first first little mineral side I've ever done. So I got actually I got the corn on one side, mineral on the other, so I can kind of watch and see what deer or anything else gravitates toward, whether it gravitates more to the corn or to the mineral. And uh, like I said, I got some of those, uh, the shredded beets and molasses mixed in with that. I got my doggone molasses block hanging up there. So it's on, it's set up just like the other ones are on a bungee cord. So maybe, Maybe something might happen with it. I'm kind of interested to see. I just got it tied into the tree there. All right.
change out the batteries and get my tail out from down here. 